$6.3 trillion. That's the price of this new immigration law they're uh, banding about here. And that worries the pricey add-ons, including a push to have same-sex couples represented, could drive that price up even more. The Heritage Foundation came up with the figure. It's president, the former Senator Jim DeMint, with us now. Senator, good to have you. Um, this hey, Neil. Good to have you, sir. Of the $6.3 trillion, does that include whatever tax revenue you get from illegals once they make their way to becoming legal? Yes, it does. Uh, the, um, the difference between what the, they take out of the system and what they put into it is $6.3 trillion. So there is certainly some taxes paid and some new revenue when they become legalized, but they t actually take more out of the system uh, once they become legal. And over a 50-year period, Neil, this is something they're not talking about. They're trying to talk about a 10-year window. Uh, but the average unlawful immigrant is 34 years old. Uh, the uh, actual actuaries say they'll live to 84. That's a 50-year period. The cost is $6.3 trillion, and the current American taxpayers have to pay for that. scapegoat to go and have people go point the finger at that and say, oh, our budget is out of whack because of illegal immigrants. It's not. Our budget is out of whack because we have self-inflicted wounds that the legislature and, and this state has never really sat down and had the will to go and make the necessary changes that need to be made so that we live within our means. And I think it is also the federal law that requires us to go and provide the services for uh, undocumented immigrants. It makes everyone in California or in America has the right to get services in the hospital, can go to an emergency room, can go and get education, basic education, and all of those kind of things. It's not the California's decision. It's not our decision. We passed an initiative, 187, which was unconstitutional. And uh, that's the end of that. And you know something? As far as I'm concerned, I'm happy that uh, they can get the services because I would like to have the services if I'm somewhere in another country. Hello, everybody. What is it? Uh, it's good afternoon. Very good, very good. Well, let me just bring you up to date of what's going on with our negotiations. Uh, I'm sure you're all curious about that. Um, we have, uh, I think, come uh, a long way. Governor Brown is releasing his uh, budget for the upcoming year, revising for the current year right now, and he is saying for the first time since the recession, California faces no budget deficit. Jane, I gotta tell you, no budget deficit. I'm stunned. Yeah. Because when? it doesn't make any sense. To solemnly swear, solemnly swear, and I hope that those that want to sell out to the special interests, those girly men up there in Sacramento. Well, let me just reiterate to all of you that if you think that you can do this budget without any increase in revenues, then you have a big math problem.
Would you like to be able to? Would you like to see an amendment to the Constitution?